Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Planes, Trains, and Comics channel. My name's Matt, and today we're going to review Survival Number One. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So, with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, we got the cover here for Survival Number One. It is a Dark Horse comic, and it is by Sean Lewis, Bryden Everett, Natalie Barona, and Ed Dukeshire. And we start off on the first page with a bunch of black and some text. And basically all this is saying is that there is a war going on between Russia and Chechnya and it's caused like a nuclear meltdown to happen or at least start to happen on Earth. And because of that nuclear winter, a lot of planes are unable to fly or if they were flying, they had to crash land. So in Talkeetna, Alaska, these two kids find a plane in the woods and they decide to go check it out. And when they explore the plane, they don't find anything really at first, but then as they get towards the back, they find a bunch of blood and a man who looks like he's killed some people. So the man ends up attacking the boy, but the girl gets away and she rides her bike out of the woods. And it just so happens that on the edge of the woods, there was a survivalist convention happening with a bunch of ex-military people. So she rides towards this convention and right as the survivalist men go to help her out, a sniper begins to shoot from the woods and starts killing people. And that's where I'm going to stop it. I don't want to spoil anything else. All right, so I picked this book up on a whim. I had read the description online earlier and it sounded interesting to me. It definitely made it sound like it was some kind of crazy horror book with some sort of crazed special forces Russian man killing survivalists in the woods in Alaska. So I thought that sounded pretty cool, but unfortunately this one really didn't live up to what I hoped it would be. My first problem with this book was the black page that it starts off with. To me, that's just like a terrible way to start a comic. It's just a black page with a bunch of text on it. But I held my judgment until I got further into the issue. Because sometimes first pages don't always catch you the way they should. But pretty much from like page two on, I just really didn't like the flow and the pacing of this book. The way everybody talked seemed weird and not natural. And also the story didn't really make much sense to me either. So unfortunately, I just wasn't able to get into this comic like I wanted to. I thought the art was all right. There were some really cool splash pages, like when you see that Russian guy on the plane for the first time. But other than those, there wasn't anything that I thought was too special going on with the art. So even though I try to remain pretty positive with these reviews, because my taste is not everybody's, I still want to give you my opinion of what I thought about it. So pretty much I just thought the characters weren't written very well. I didn't believe a lot of their dialogue when they were talking, especially the survivalists. It just seemed like the writer had watched a movie or something about survivalists and just kind of made up jargon. Like this was definitely written by someone who doesn't know the jargon of survivalists or military personnel. And then there were things that stood out like when the guy starts shooting from the woods, the man that goes to try to save the girl automatically knows the make and model of the gun just from hearing the gunshot which i think is pretty weird i don't think anybody can really do that and there were just little logic problems like that that just doesn't make sense to me why you would add them and also just kind of took me out of the story so a lot of that just didn't need to be there so i'm gonna give this one a one which for me is a pretty low rating but i just really didn't enjoy this comic and i personally wouldn't keep reading it but of course that is just my opinion and if you saw anything you like definitely go pick that up at your local comic book store and we will see you all in the next one